Earlier, you mentioned the EPA. Uh, explain that a little bit and why that's important to health. I think that's one of the things when people are looking at a bottle of omega-3, that's one of the things that they look for. Right, yeah. So uh, the standard current sources that you mentioned earlier, fish oil and krill oil, come with a mixture of EPA and DHA. So there's different types of algae in the environment. The organisms eating those algaes process them into different types of fatty acids. So we get these, this kind of mixture of EPA and DHA in the sources we currently have. Um, this algae in particular only makes EPA, omega-3. And current literature, and I'm not the expert on this, but you know, current literature is showing that EPA is very important in mammalian and human adults in terms of mental health, cardiac health, and kind of general topics like that, as opposed to DHA, which comes in you know, current sources of omega-3, which is very important for brain development in children and some of those things. And they're very similar molecules. So if you want the health benefits that are, we're learning are associated with EPA only, it's actually very challenging from a chemistry standpoint to separate the, so, the EPA from the DHA and the sources mm. that come together. And we just happen to be very lucky and through careful choosing and learning about the strains of algaes that are out there, we've come to find this natural strain of algae that makes EPA only so that we can kind of target those effects in the human body.